Hey everybody, welcome back to WCCF Tech TV. This is Keith once again, and Micron has confirmed in a blog post that they have officially completed the design and device qualification of their next generation GDD. DR6 memory. They have also stated that the company plans to begin mass production of the next generation memory during the first half of 2018. Micron's graphics division, which are based in Munich and Boise, were responsible for this key achievement in the memory development and they have reported that they are very pleased with the performance of the memory that GDDDR6 will offer it to its customers across a range of products that crave memory bandwidth. To quote, in June of this year, we mentioned that our GDDR6 program was on track and progressing well. Since that time, our graphics team in Munich and Boise have been very hard at work, and both design and qualification are complete, and we're very pleased with the performance of this memory we'll offer to our customer across a wide range of memory grade bandwidth products. Micron was the only memory manufacturer to work on G5X and offer various configurations of said memory, allowing them to put their attained expertise into the next generation GDDDR6 memory which shares a lot of fundamentals with G5X. Micron has estimated that GDDDR6 will achieve 16 gigabytes over a second over time, while the initial GDDDR6 mass production will hit speeds of 12 and gig 14 gigabytes per second, and these speeds will put the memory a lot faster compared to G5X and GDDDR5 variants. Talking about G5, Micron also confirmed that they are going to begin mass production of shipments of 8 gigabytes of G5. I memory on their advanced 1x nanometer DRAM process node, which is listed in their long-term products roadmaps for G5. While G6 will be set as the next standard for high-performance graphics cards, budget and entry-level cards will continue using G5. Memory as G6 will come at a later, slightly premium, while G5 will offer a fast, lower-cost solution. As for G6 specifications, Micron has stated that the new memory standard will continue down the path of the successful G5X memory, while the new memory technology will be very similar to G5X. And there will be a few differences of which the major ones include the introduction of the FPGA 180 ball package with increased pitch, as well as a dual channel architecture. So coming to the specifications, G6 will come in 8 gigs and 16 gigabyte densities, while the standard followed by the JDEC allows for up to 32 gigabyte dies. The 8 gigabyte DRAM dies will allow for up to 8 gigabyte VRAM on a 256 bit wide card and a 12 gigabyte VRAM card along the 384 bit wide card. The 16 gigabyte dies will allow essentially double the VRAM since each chip will feature 2 gigabytes of VRAM. A 384 bit bus card could feature up to 24 gigabyte while dies with 32 gigabyte density will deliver 48 gigabyte VRAM along the same interface. Looking at the speeds, we are seeing an incredible jump from 12 gigabytes of G5X to 16 gigabytes per second G6. The NVIDIA GeForce GTX Titan XP packs the most bandwidth of any consumer GPU to date with a total amount of 547.7 gigabytes per second using 11.4 gigabits per second G5X chips. The first generation G5X chips were run at 10 gigabits per second on the GTX 1080 which was recently upgraded to the even faster 11 gigabits per second G5X chips. Now we can look forward to a range of high-end and mainstream graphics cards from Nvidia and AMD in 2018. GPU manufacturers will have the option to select from multiple DRAM manufacturers such as Micron, Samsung, and SK Hynix and have already planned to begin mass productions of G6 memory in 2018. Hit up the article linked in the description for more information. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV and as always we'll catch you in the next video.